Hi, welcome to my computer programming online class. Today, we are going to learn about the expression and operators in Python. The first is, what is an operators? So, operators is a symbol used in programming to perform operations. So, for example, plus is an arithmetic operator and it is used to compute additional operation between two variables. Okay. The expression is the combination of operators, constants, and variables. So this is an arithmetic expression. So operation is action made up from expression. So by assigning the uh, expression x plus y, okay, the result will be assigned into z variable and this is what we call as arithmetic operation. So take a look into this example, y equal to mx plus c. Okay, so this is a simple linear regression equation and in programming, this is how the way we interpret this uh, statement. Okay. So, the sign, the assignment operators, okay, the equal sign there, together with the multiplication and plus is what we call as a operators. Okay. And the variables, instead of variables, when we do it in operations, okay, so we call it operands. Okay, the mx plus c, okay, is the expression, the arithmetic expression, because we are using a arithmetic operators and the overall of this statement we call as a operations okay operations so as we all know the operation is made up of operators and operand so there are four group of operators the first is arithmetic operators so here we have five types of symbol or operators under arithmetic operators okay the first is additional subtraction multiplication division and modulus second we have assignment operators so the basic assignment operators is this operators okay the equal signs operators the third is what we call as a relational operators such as greater than less than equal to greater than okay and not equal to the last one is the logical operators such as and or and not so the first group of operators that we are going to look into is arithmetic operators so these operators use to perform arithmetic mathematical operation so there are five operators under arithmetic operators okay the additional subtraction multiplication division and modulus in python arithmetic operation follow specific rule according to its data type a complete arithmetic operation is comprises of arithmetic operators together with assignment For example, A plus B only is what we call as arithmetic expression. So when we make an ex, uh, when we change the statement into Y equal to A plus B, this is already become a arithmetic operation. So first we are going to look into how to use the addition subtraction and multiplication operators so take a look into this example okay so now x been assigned equal to 7 so 7 is the integer value y assigned to 8 and 8 also the integer value okay when both of these value are integer automatically the variables x and y will become an integer and if both operands or the variables are integer the additional operations 
will give integer output value and this is valid for additional subtraction and multiplication operators only so for example in this case the z value will become the integer value so what happen if either one of the operand is a flow okay for example in this case this is a float variables okay float data type okay so if one of the operand r is float then the result of any arithmetic operation will become float okay will become float for example y is the integer x is a float so the operation okay the subtraction operation will give the value of z become a flow so variables with integer data type so what actually happen here so the variable with integer data type will be promoted first into the float data type then only the operation can be performed so it means that in this case take a look into this case the multiplication operation here so y is a float so x is a integer x will be promoted into a float first will be promoted into a float then the operation can be continued and give you the output of float data type so division a little bit different okay in python in python the division always give the always give the float data type okay the float value okay so for example in this case all right the x and y are both integer but the result of the division operation will always give the value in a floating value so how to make sure that we can get the integer value so the trick that we can use here is to enforce the output variables using a integer int keywords then the final output that we can obtain is integer otherwise okay it always give us an floating value So the last operators for arithmetic operators is we call as a modulus. So the modulus operator used to determine the remainder of division operations. Take a look into this example. So the result of 10 divided by 2 will give us 5. So this is the result of division operations. By the way, the result of 10 modulus 2 is 0. So the remainder of division operation always give us the modulus value. Take a look at another example here. So 11 divided by 2 always give us 5. Okay, the integer operation. By the way, the result of 10 modulus 2 is 1. So 1 is the reminder of division operations. So another operators that we are going to learn is the relational operators. So relational operators used to define relationship between two or more expression and control the program flow. A statement of using relational operators is called Boolean expression. The result of Boolean expression is called Boolean value or Boolean result. So Boolean values only have two results. Okay, they only have two Boolean values, either true or false. 
So result is true when the evaluated statement is true and the result is false when the evaluated statement is false. Take a look into the example. So by assigning 10 into x and 11 into y, okay, so the Boolean expression that we need to check here is y greater than x. And since y is greater than x, then the Boolean result is true. By the way, if the Boolean expression is x greater than y, so the statement is false since the value of x should be less than y. So the Boolean result is false. So take a look into this example. By assigning 10 into x, 11 to y, and z equal to 12. So evaluate the following expression. So this is straightforward. So we know that the z is greater than y, then it is true. How about this? So to do this, to perform this operation, or to perform this expression, so we need to do this first. Later on, we will see the rules, the rules that govern uh, how to select which operators that will be performed first. Okay, so we need to do this first. So it means that z plus x will give us the value of 22 and y so the boolean expression here y greater than 22 okay so y is 11 so this is should be false for this expression how about the equal signs equal to operators here okay so since y equal to 11 and z minus 1 is equal to 11, then this become true. Do not confuse this symbol and the assignment symbol. Okay? The equal to, this is equal to in Boolean expression in relational operators. Okay? This is the assignment operators. So it's not same. It's not same. Okay, this have a different meaning. Okay, the equal to sign. Okay, the equal equal to sign meanings we want to check either y is greater than z minus one. But using this equal sign, single equal sign, so we want to assign y equal to z minus 1. So the result of this expression will be assigned into y. So the rest, okay. Okay, another one that is more advanced here. Uh, this one, okay, this one is quite tricky. Okay. So now the new x will become 11. It's not 10 anymore. Okay, because we assign the value of 11 into x variable. And we want to check whether it equal to z. But z is still 12. So it means that this is false. Okay, the not equal to sign here. Okay, why not equal to z? Y is eleven, z is twelve. Yes, y is not equal to z, so the result is true. Okay, another operators in Python is we call as a logical operators. So this is used to evaluate two or more combination of relational expression to control the program flow. So the logical expression is evaluated using the truth 
table. Okay, so these are the three logical operators that are available in Python. And, or, and not. Okay, these operators is expressed by using a words. In previous operators, we saw all of the operators are using a symbol. In logical operators for Python, we use words to represent the operators. So how the end will be evaluated? So if all the expression are true, then the boolean result is true. For example, if we have two condition. Okay. So if condition A and B both are true, then the result will be true. If we are using a logical operator or, so either one of the expression are true, then the result will be true. If both are false, then the result will be false. So for the not operators, okay, if the original condition is true, then the logical not will make the condition become false. So now we take a look into the example here. So the value of x, y, and z already been initialized. Okay, already been assigned the value. So the, so we want to evaluate the following logical expression. So first we take a look at straightforward uh, example here. So we have two relational operators of two relational expression here to be evaluated using a and operators. Okay. So because we are using n operators here, so these expression we call as a logical expression so we know that z equal to 12 which is greater than y and it gives us the true result for this relational operation relational expression by the way for y greater than x okay so the result also true so performing the logical expression okay by by evaluating true and true will give us the true value okay this is very straightforward example take a look into the second example of using or so z is checked whether it's equal to x by the way, this is false a statement because z is not equal to x. By the way, for the y, the y here also false. y less than x also give us the false result. Okay, y is shouldn't less than x. Okay, so using a or, okay, as we mentioned before, if both statement if both expression evaluated using or are false is false then the result will be false so this this expression gives a false result okay another example this is a little bit tricky so now x evaluated whether it's equal on to y or not so in this case x shouldn't be equal to y so the result of this relational operation relational expression will be false so not false give us a true result for the logical expression means that it is true that x it is true that not x equal to y understand that all right so if let's say x okay if let's say the relational expression is x not equal to y here so this gives us the true result okay this gives us a true result by the way if we assess for the not 
okay if we apply the logical operators not x not equal to y so it will give us the false result because not true is false right so it's very simple right okay all right so how about if the expression if the expression has if the logical expression has two logical operators okay it can be more right so in this case we have n and or all right so how to evaluate this okay so first we need to evaluate the relational operators first all the things that have a relational operators all right so we will check first okay so when we perform this arithmetic expression s plus one okay y is less okay we would we take a look here so x plus one will give us 11 so y will give us the value less than Okay, y is 11 also, then the value should equal to the new x plus 1. So this is true. The statement is true here. How about this? x greater than or equal to 5. Yes, true for this. And then we will evaluate this expression first. So true and true give us a true value. Right, and then we will evaluate this. So this gives us, actually we need to evaluate all the relational operators first. And then we go to logical operators from left to the right. Okay. So the Z, okay, here we know that the result will be true. Right? So true or true. Okay, the result of this give us true then we'll be checked with this true or true give us the true result for this expression so it's easy right okay all right take a look at another example here so not x equal equal to 10 and z greater than y so here, so x equal to 10. So this is, this relational operators give us a true result. Right? So not x equal equal to 10. Okay, this expression give us the false result. And we want to check it with z greater than y. So z greater than y give us the true result for the relational expression. And we went to check, we want to check both of these, okay, using the n operators. So false and true give us false result. Okay, it's easy, right? Another example here, the last one, okay, the last example here y not equal to 11 or x plus y greater than z so first which one did will, will be evaluated first we need to evaluate this arithmetic expression first and then we can evaluate for this and this okay this same level the last one for the or operators so x plus y give us the value of 21 and 21 greater than z yes give us the true result for this relational operator uh, expression and then we went to check y not equal to 11 so this is give us a false for false or true or true give us true result so it's straightforward okay if you able to evaluate this okay then you can get uh, obtain the result easily 
Alright. Okay, there is some rules to identify which one to be evaluated first. So take a look into this example. So we have this expression, combination of the relational operators, arithmetic operators, and the logical operators. So which one will be evaluated first? So first we need to evaluate the arithmetic operators, z plus 2. And then we will go, okay, we do the relational operators here. Either one can be performed first. And the last one, we will evaluate the and operators. So the rules to decide which operator will be performed first is called as precedence. So the higher the precedence, okay, it will be first evaluated. It will be named as the first precedence. So, for example, here, okay, so we have the top precedence, okay, in Python programming is the arithmetic operators. And the group of arithmetic operators that is the top, the highest precedence is multiplication, division, and modulus. Then followed by Additional and subtraction operators. Okay. And then it will follow by the relational operators. Okay. The last one will be these three logical operators. First, we will evaluate node. And then we have, will evaluate in. And we will be evaluate or. So, we must follow this hierarchy. For example, if let's say we have uh, different operators, okay, different operators, we will use the precedence rule, okay. Different operators mean that different group of operators, if they have, if they're present in the same statement, we will use the precedence rule. How about if the operators is in the same group? So what are the rules that we use to specify that, to know which one will be executed first? So we use the rule of associativity. So associativity is applicable when having two or more operators of the same precedence. Okay, it indic indicates the order in which they execute. Okay, for example, y plus f, x plus y minus z. So, we always use, okay, in pro Python programming, alright, this is Python programming, not a normal mathematical solution, okay. So, we will, uh, the program, the Python program, okay, the interpreter will always perform this first. And then, the result of this will be, okay, will be, the result from this will be minus with the z. So perform this operator first and then second one will be the minus operators. Okay, first is solve for x plus y, then the result will be minus with z. So this is what we call as a left to right associativity. Okay. Okay, how about this? Okay, when we assign the value, the result value of x plus z. Okay, this is right to the left because first we will perform this operation x plus z and the results okay, the value that we obtain from this expression will be assigned into y then this will be evaluated as a second first we evaluate this and then second will be evaluate this so we can see the rule of association here is from right to the left
Okay, here I have uh, extra notes for you. How to use the update operators. Sometimes new value of the variable need to be updated from its original value. Take an example here. I want to update the new value of y. So I assign it. The new value of y will be updated as y plus x will give us the new value of y. So another way of writing this statement is by using plus equal operators. So this is what we call as update operators. So the statement y equal to y plus x also equivalent to y plus equal to x. So instead of writing this way, we can write it in this way. Okay. So y, okay, the step increment of y is by 1. So we can update it using this method. So this is the way to write it. Okay, we see that, okay, the result of the new y here, okay, the old y is 10, but the new y will be 10 plus 11 equal to 21. So these are examples, all the others are... Uh, Okay, it can be used together with all arithmetic operators. So that's all for this section. Thank you very much. So in the next section, we will learn about selection control structure in programming.